So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, yesterday we had Javante Tank Davis uh, v... Or this morning, actually, here in the UK time. Probably yesterday, your guys' time, uh, if you're in America. But here in the UK, we had... Um, you know, this today actually, Javante Davis took on Isaac Cruz uh, in a very, 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 very close and great fight. Um, I must say, hats off to Isaac Cruz. I thought Javante would knock him out. But I, and you know what? To be fair, some of you, and I, I forgot the names, but some of you actually said, Imran, watch out for Isaac Cruz. He's being overlooked. He's being overlooked. And I overlooked him. I didn't go really watch much tape of Isaac Cruz and you guys were right and I was wrong uh Javante Davis had a very very hard fight against um Isaac Cruz uh Isaac Cruz was really really tough he reminded me a little bit of Marcus Maidana you know I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna put him in that that uh level of uh greatness just yet I think Maidana was something else Maidana is one of my favorite fighters by the way uh, he's somebody that I, I loved. Maidana was definitely one of my favourite fighters. I think Isaac Cruz in the, is also the same mould. Obviously, not as good at, at, at this point. But I was really impressed. Really, really impressed. I was a bit disappointing in Javante Davis. I felt like he was fighting very timid. Uh, I think Javante Davis has a seek and destroy style. And I think he tried to box a lot. You know, he was boxing very cautiously. Was that because of Isaac Cruz being very strong, being very tough? And he realised he weren't going to get this guy out of there. But I, I thought... You can look at it two ways. You can look at it that Javante Davis showed another side to his game uh, and box. But like I said, the fight was very close. Uh, Javante Davis was able to box, but against bigger guys, he's not going to be able to do that. And what you've got to realize is in the 135, 140 pound division, Javante Davis is going to be the smaller guy. This is just one of those occasions where he's come up against somebody that actually was smaller than him. Uh, but generally, Javante Davis is, is the bigger man. Um, so I was a bit... You know, I won't say disappointed with the performance because I thought it was a very, very close fight. You know, let me first um, address the robbery. A lot of people were saying it was a robbery. I thought it was a close fight. It was no robbery, in my opinion. You know, I think it could have been, I think it was 7 5, 6 6. You know, it was that type of fight. It was a very, very close fight. Uh, Floyd Mayweather afterwards said it was a 8 4, in his opinion. He's going to say that because obviously what he's tanks his guy. Uh, but I do think it was a, I do think it was a very close fight. I do think it was a fight where you know Isaac Cruz turned up and really really put on a lot of pressure on Tank. And a lot of people are going to look at Tank in a different light now. But I think what sometimes what we do is there's a guy that comes in as a replacement, and people don't know much about him. And Isaac Cruz was that guy. People don't know much about him. He comes in and puts in a great performance. He was always capable of that performance. But because of the fact that nobody really knew who he was, everybody starts saying, oh, Javante's a hype job. It was a poor performance rather than praising the guy that actually put in the great performance uh, in Isaac Cruz. Isaac Cruz showed that he's world class. That's what Javante Davis is world class. There's no doubt about it. But Isaac Cruz showed he was world class. And I think we need to appreciate his performance more than bashing Javante Davis because you guys I don't want to hear any stuff like Javante is a hype job and stuff like that because you guys were telling me prior to the fight a lot of you were saying Imran watch Isaac Cruz he's going to be no pushover for Tank man he's going to be no pushover for Tank this is what you guys were saying in the comment section that you're overlooking Isaac Cruz he's no pushover and you guys were right he was no pushover so that doesn't make Tank a hype job it just means that there's, there's a, there was a world-class fighter in Isaac Cruz that faced another world-class fighter. Uh, but the, the other world-class fighter had more publicity than the other guy. He wasn't as known. Uh, Isaac Cruz has put himself now in the mix to fight all the other top guns at £135. And he's a, and he's a very dangerous fight for anybody. Uh, because Javante Davis, is a, like I said, Javante Davis normally knocks guys out. And Isaac Cruz showed that he's got a granite chin. Isaac Cruz showed that he's got an absolute granite chin. You can't hurt the guy. Uh, and Javante hit him with everything. And he didn't budge. He didn't budge. You know, this guy was very tough. So I think Javante, what Javante realized after a while, that I'm not going to knock this guy out. I need to box. But, you know, like I said, I don't think Javante Davis is a natural boxer. It doesn't come naturally to him. He has got that game, but he's not as strong as the seek and destroy style. He has the come forward, pressure, 
uh, and the uppercuts, the, the sh big shots of the body. Um, I think he's more of a seek and destroy guy rather than a guy that boxes on the, you know, boxes and moves. I don't really think Javante is that type of fighter. Now, he showed that he can do that, but the fight was very close. See, normally when a fighter fights in a way which he's not comfortable in, the fight ends up turning to be very close. Look at Sean Porter when he fought Ugas. In my opinion, Sean Porter was very lucky. I thought he lost that fight. Any fighter that tries to do something that he's not very comfortable at doing generally against another world-class fighter, you're gonna find yourself in trouble. Uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of people saying shouting robbery, a lot of people that have an affection or a connection to Isaac Cruz, but like I said, I don't think there was a robbery. I think it was a very close fight very close fight and like i said i wouldn't have minded if it was a draw but let's not forget showtime had the fight level had the fight level going in to or not the not not level but they had davis one round up going into the last round so if cruz had won that last round i don't know what what showtime's official score was at the end but i know that after 11 they had davis one round up so if cruz won that last round which was close, which you could have given to him, it could have, it could have been a draw. And that was showtime. So this is what I'm trying to say. I think, I think Isaac Cruz showed up and he put in a great performance, but I don't think we should bash Tank. Uh, I think it's just the fact that, you know, Isaac Cruz didn't have the publicity. You know, I overlooked Isaac Cruz. Isaac Cruz was a really, really tough fighter. A very good fighter. Like I said, he's, he's more of a Maidana, Sean Porter kind of, you know, Maidana's a very big puncher. I don't know whether Isaac Cruz at that weight's a big, big puncher. Uh, Maidana was a guy that, you know, hurt people, you know, I don't know whether Isaac Cruz, so he may be more of a Sean Porter than a Maidana. Maidana was a very special fighter. Maidana just wasn't a very good pressure fighter. He also was a very big puncher. And when you're a pressure fighter and you can punch like that, that makes you very dangerous, you know, because Maidana wasn't just like Sean Porter, physically strong, bullish. He was also a big puncher. And that, when, you, when you're a big puncher with all of those physical attributes uh, as well, I think you become a very, very dangerous fight for anybody. Uh, Isaac Cruz, I don't think has the punch, the punch power of Maidana, uh, but I think Isaac Cruz definitely has the physical strength, the chin, the toughness uh, of, you know, of a Sean Porter type mold fighter. So I think Isaac Cruz is going to be a problem for anybody. Whether he can really beat the elite, the guys that have great boxing ability, I don't really think in the 135 pound division there's guys with great boxing ability, naturally gifted guys. You know, I, I think there's a I think there's a lot of guys that Isaac Cruz may be able to cause the upset against. And like I said, this fight could have been a draw. You know, so I I certainly would like to see that fight again. I know Javante said, you know, he wouldn't like he wouldn't want a rematch. He doesn't think it warrants a rematch. But you know, it's a fight down the future that possibly could happen. Obviously, they're not going to fight him again because it's a risky fight. And what does he gain by fighting Isaac Cruz? I, it was a it was a replacement. Uh, let's not forget. So they're not going to fight him again. They're not going to fight him again. It's too risky a fight and there's nothing to gain. Uh, but I think hopefully a fight like this now gets Javante Davis to start stepping up because these guys... And listen, I don't want to say step up because Isaac Cruz was a really good fighter. Uh, Isaac Cruz was a really good fighter. But what I mean by step up, I mean starting f start fighting the champions now. Because I think, you know, fans have got sick and death of of you know him fighting guys that are unknown just because you know they're using you know basically what they're doing is Javante Davis is a massive name right so Javante Davis is the biggest star in around these weight classes he's got the biggest name he's he's a, he's, a, he's an attraction and they can sell pay-per-views but they don't want to put that cash cow at risk against anybody that they know is dangerous at this particular point now Isaac Cruz is a fight which they probably thought wouldn't be as hard as what it turned out to be. Um, and even Rolando Romero, I think, the, the, although Rolando Romero had to be pulled, up, pulled out, they looked at that fight as a big fight because Rolando Romero can talk and it would have been hyped up into a really big fight. But actually, actually, the, the fight itself probably would have been a lot easier than Isaac Cruz. Isaac Cruz is probably better than Rolando Romero. So he actually ended up having a tougher fight than fighting Rolando Romero, but R Rolando Romero would have been a bigger fight from the pay-per-view sense because they would have sold it, hyped it, and all of that stuff. Uh, but Isaac Cruz probably didn't have the attraction in terms of pay-per-view, but it was probably a harder fight. And I think Tank and uh, Leonard Ellaby, or I can't remember, I think Mayweather maybe actually said that, that this would be a harder fight. And it, I don't know whether they were just saying it to sell the pay-per-view and they actually believed it would be a harder fight because Isaac Cruz was a fairly unknown guy. 
you know, I know a lot of boxers, like I know majority of the top tier boxers and even the, even the guys that are fairly unknown. And I hadn't heard of Isaac Cruz. And a lot of you were the ones that was actually saying to me, Imran, go and watch this guy. This guy can fight. And I didn't bother watching him because I thought, oh man, these guys are always saying that they probably have a connection to him. That's why they're saying it. And I was wrong. Uh, it was an arrogant arrogance from my side to overlook someone like Isaac Cruz. I should have gone and watched tape of him. Um, but not necessarily. Sometimes styles make fights. So I could have seen him in another fight and he could have looked average. But in this fight, he looked great. Uh, and I, I think I personally think he was stalking Tank. He was doing very well. I, again... It wasn't a robbery, uh, let me get that out there, it was no robbery, but it was definitely a very close fight. A robbery for me is something like Pacquiao-Bradley, uh, that's a robbery for me and I don't think it was on that kind of level, it was a very, very close fight. Both did well, both won rounds and it was very close, I don't think you can call something like that a robbery, but uh, you know, you were expecting a much more impressive performance from Tank and we didn't get it. And that was probably because of the fact that Isaac Cruz was really good and also the fact that it was a poor performance by Tank as well, you know, because uh, I do worry for Tank because if he can't get guys out of there, the fights are going to be very close. The fights are going to be very close because he doesn't seem to me have great boxing ability. He's a good boxer, but he can be outboxed. And the reason why he was able to get a points win here is because Isaac Cruz is a crude type, come forward, tough guy. Uh, and actually, I liked, I, I thought Isaac Cruz had a bit more about a guy that just walking forward. I actually thought he had great head movement. I saw him slipping punches. Um, he had good head movement. So yeah, I, I do think Isaac Cruz was just a bit better, uh, a bit a much better than just a brawler. Uh, so I did see, I did see some skills there from Isaac Cruz. But uh, Javante Davis, with all the hype he's got and the way they 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 big him up, I think he, he should have been able to win more clearly. Uh, it was a very, very tight fight. You know, like I said, it was very, very tight for my liking. Uh, I don't know what you guys thought. And I actually thought Isaac, I thought Javante Davis would like Isaac Cruz's style. I thought Javante Davis would like a fighter coming to him and so he can fight. Because Jeff Mayweather made a good point that when a fighter comes to tank, that means he's going to get knocked out. But he couldn't do that. You know, he couldn't really dent Isaac Cruz. Isaac Cruz had a granite chin, kept coming forward. He was tough as nails. And he was actually he was actually troubling tam Tank at times. Isaac Cruz was actually pushing Tank back at times. I think if Isaac Cruz was a bigger guy, uh, naturally a bigger guy, I think he might have even hurt Tank, might have dropped him. You know, he was a very, very difficult fight for Javante Davis. You know, um, yeah, I think, I think Isaac Cruz really upped his stock. Very good fighter. And I would like to see him fight some other good fighters, to be honest with you. I'd like to see Isaac Cruz fight... Uh, Haney, I'd like to see Isaac Cruz fight, Cam you know, I, I think I'd, I'd rather see Javante fight those guys, uh, but I would like to see uh, Isaac Cruz get in the mix, you know, maybe a fight with Tiafimo, if Tiafimo's not going to stay at 135, but maybe Isaac Cruz against, who can Isaac Cruz fight, maybe Isaac Cruz against Richard Comey, you know, that'd be a good fight, Isaac Cruz against Nakatani, that'd be a good fight. You know, Nakatani would have a huge side. Maybe Isaac Cruz against Lomachenko. That'd be a great fight. You know, so Isaac Cruz is definitely in the mix now. Uh, and he's definitely put himself in the mix for some big fights. So I'm looking forward to Isaac Cruz's future. Uh, I'm also looking forward to what Tank does next as well. Who's he going to fight next? What's going to happen? You know, Ryan Garcia and him and going back and forth. I'm going to do a video about that. Um, Haney, you know, is obviously... They're talking about him fighting Cambosis. But if... Javante Davis comes to the table for a fight with Cambosis. Would Cambosis look to fight Javante Davis as he's the bigger pay-per-view attraction? Uh, Cambosis also said that he felt that Haney uh, put in a better performance than Javante Davis. Um, I want to see how these guys get on. I want to see how, I want to see these guys fight each other. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'd love to see these guys fight each other. I'd love to see you know all these guys mix and match with each other because we need to see them fight. We need to see them fight. And unfortunately, right now, they're not fighting. And Tank's kind of doing his old thing on it on their side. And Haney's wanting to mix it up with all these guys. Haney's looking to go and fight Cambosis, look, look to become undisputed. But I feel like Tank, at the minute, is just doing his own thing. Uh, they're, they're just developing and building their own thing. But at the end of the day, like we said, Tank's 27 now. He's not getting any younger. He's been around for a very, very long time, Tank. Very, very long time. You know, Tank's been there around 
for a very, very long time. So it's about time Tank starts fighting the other elite guys of the division because he's been he's been around for a very, very long time. Although he's only 27 and you'd say he's coming into his prime years, he's been around for at least good six, seven years now. Or at least five years. So it's time for him to step it up and start fighting. Start, when did he fight Liam Walsh? You know, when, when did he come to UK? That seemed like ages ago. You know, so it's it Tank needs to start, you know, hopefully mixing it in with Devin Haney, Cambosis, Lopez. I want to see him fight all of those guys. Taylor at 140, obviously went to 140. That's a great fight. So I want to see all these guys fight each other, man. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the fight. Were you impressed? Were you not impressed? Were you disappointed in Tank's performance? Were you very impressed by Isaac Cruz? I was. Uh, so let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.